No. Hello. Hi guys, what's up? Oh, what did I just do to my hair? I dyed my hair and so I just woke up and did a little light curl in it. Um, today's video is going to be me cleaning out my eyeshadow palettes. I decided it would be um, a cute idea just to clean out and organize. I'm trying to stay busy for my mental health and I think that if you guys are bored at home it's really important to try to do things to stay busy. Um, even if it's doing things you don't want to do, it's not all about being productive. Sometimes it's just about your mental health and staying busy. I was talking a little bit about this on IG story. So, I hope this video inspires you to get up and get moving regardless of what it is. It doesn't have to be cleaning and organizing. It can be doing a puzzle or coloring or drawing or anything you want to do. But I just wanted to encourage you guys to stay busy for your mental health. So I technically already cleaned everything out because I started this video. Like I was starting to clean out and I was like, wait, I should film this. So I just started filming this and I was like, I'll do the intro and outro and show what all we cleaned out the next day. So that's what I'm doing. Um, I got rid of like an a load of stuff the more i clean out the more i am peach she thinks everything's about her pika you better stop it right now you stop it she's a bad girl anyways there is a giveaway in this video i'm going to insert that footage now hey right, guys i'm going to throw a giveaway in this video there's going to be six winners all you have to do is be subscribed to my channel and leave one comment below on this video if you want an additional entry Follow me on Instagram, but be sure and leave your Instagram handle in your comments so I can make sure you're following me. So here are all the prizes. We have six boxes in the uh, mailbox is ready to be shipped out to you guys, and I will be doing more along the way. So be sure and enter. Um, again, if you want to follow me on Instagram, my Instagram is Laura Larley, and um, just leave your Instagram handle in your comments to let me know that you want that second entry. I will probably be mailing out more than six boxes just because I have a lot to give away. I just went ahead and prepared six boxes, but I'll be picking a bunch of you guys as winners. I hope that lifts your spirits a little bit. So with that being said, we are going to go ahead and jump in. My family Family's being crazy and running around and so loud. It's like that every day here. But with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and jump into today's video and we're gonna start the organization process. I just wanna first give you the overview of the palette section. So it actually starts with this drawer right here and moves up. And then these are randomly highlighter palettes in the middle of the section and then it bounces up to more eyeshadow palettes. And the reason that happened is because I thought what four drawers would be plenty for my eyeshadow palettes and when i started to fill in them i was like okay we can do four drawers of eyeshadow palettes highlighter palettes for two drawers and then i realized i have just a stupid amount of eyeshadow palettes so it ended up kind of crazy i'm going to give you a quick look at all the drawers before i start cleaning them out this is my highest up drawer oh man highlighter palettes Guys, you have no idea what we're about to get into today. I'm gonna have to make some really hard decisions. These are some single shadows. I'm also gonna be going through my single shadows. Oh, I can hear you, but I won't. ABH, Lunar Beauty, um, Kylie, Kristen's brand. It is Dominique Cosmetics and just, I don't know. It's like done by brands if you're wondering what's going on, like Tarte, Too Faced. And then I started receiving these brands that have like one palette. So I just like popped them in here. This is the Morphe drawer. So yeah, that is what we're going to be cleaning today. Also, my nails are starting to grow out. So I'm getting a little nervous. I'm just kidding. It's not that big of a deal. I'm going to have to take them off soon and bust out my gel polish kit. I'll be cleaning out my drugstore palette. So we do have two more of the half size Georges. Georges. George, <laughs> are you gonna help me? You don't have to. Sure. You can go do your own thing if you want. No, we're chilling. Okay, you can just chill in here if you want to. So, um, yeah, this needs work. Other drugstore palettes. <sighs> we're gonna do this. I think this drawer is gonna be like the hardest drawer to see me clean out, only because I'll try to fix the camera as best I can. But it's just like so high up. It's like hard. Okay. <laughs> I think I got the best angle I could get of this drawer. The drawer is so high up. It's like hard to even get to to use these palettes, which makes me so sad. Like I never got to use these and I wanted to so badly. It's really hard because I like don't really know where to start, you know? I know I have two of the Pat McGrath palettes that I don't need. Like why? This is a really pretty one from Lancome, but... 
It came out this holiday and I just haven't been using it. I love these two palettes from Jouer, but I wanna move them to another drawer because I can't reach them up here. I love this, but I never really actually got to use it. I think I'm gonna apply this little clear tray in here to help me organize some of these so they can stand up better. Thank you, God. Two of them, so I have yeah. two of those. This so. outside, the outside palette is like so no. pretty, but the inside is just so plain and lame. Yeah. Okay guys, here is a tour. I gotta do Windex at the end to all get all the fingerprints off. But I think it looks so much better. I added these trays, they're from Impressions Vanity, and yeah, I just cleaned it out. There's, Ooh. yeah, what do you think? There's that so much space. Great. Have a look. Ooh. Hey! Mm -hmm. All right, ready? <gasps> Put all the oh in my God. How annoying is it that one wouldn't fit? Oh no, you gotta jam it. You gotta I jam it. I tried. The, no. I'm moving all the jouet out of here. Yeah. Looks good. The, look. Oh my god, this is so nice. So nice. Yeah, so now we're gonna do the highlight palette drawer. Oh my god. Oh lord. Here. I can't get it. Laura! What is the. Okay, right. But look how crooked it is. It looks <laughs> insane. Oh. <laughs> all right. All right, Aaron's pulled out. This one I messed up, but it'll definitely still work for me. This one might be, I could use this color, but I'm gonna pass on it because I think most of the colors are too deep for me, don't you? Yeah, what about this one? Keep her. This is also really pretty. I like how glittery it is. I don't really use that. I think we can let it go. Yeah. Yeah. I don't really use that anymore. Should we just go through the hoodos quickly? Yeah, let's go through the hoodos. No, I don't really use. You wouldn't use that. Mm -mm. That one's pretty. I'll keep these three and get rid of those two. All right. This I don't really use. What about this hourglass one? I like that one. Yeah. You're gonna use this? Yeah, I'm not gonna use this though. I wish that I could get to them easier. Put them up more. Yeah, put them towards the front. All right. I love those. Yeah, me too. Right. Oh my God, I didn't realize they had so many. Yeah, they have a ton. I love that palette. You're gonna love <gasps> it too. It's bronzers. Get rid of these two. <laughs> um, touch them and die. <laughs>
This is the highlighter palette drawer. Now we added the acrylic container or organizer. And I just have some Huda, some Lime Crime Mag Hourglass, the Jacqueline one's here, and then the Bobbi Brown. And then I just have KKW and ABH, Violet Boss, Pat McGrath, Kylie, and of course the Glaze and Bronze Collection and Lunar Beauties up here. So this is what it looks like now and I, it just looks incredible. Our pile is getting higher and higher, stuff so we're getting rid of. So we're gonna move on to the next drawer and it is more eyeshadow palettes. This drawer oh. is Urban Decay and a lot of singles that we're about to go through and it's time to say goodbye. <laughs> Guys, we just finished this drawer, and we did get rid of a lot, don't you think? Oh, this. Yes. Okay, I think we did pretty good. I kept the main Urban Decay palettes, but I got rid of a lot that I've been holding on to and that were like really expired. Um, and then I kept some pigments, but I got rid of half of them, so it looks a lot better. And we have a lot more space. So next, we're moving on to a pretty. This this drawer has the most palettes of all, so this is our next. Dun, 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 dun. We keep all these. All right, I agree, I really like them. This Natasha Denona doesn't go in here, it goes up here. Why is this one down here? Yep, see? What a hey, Kimberly, I just got that. No way, yeah, Jose. That's so pretty. No way, Jose. The drawer that had the most eyeshadow palettes in it still has a ton of <laughs> orange juice or <laughs> coconut. <laughs> I want some. God, you got some long nails, girl. Girl, maybe skirting. Um, we went really hard in that drawer, so. Yeah. So just to update, I ended up adding a another sh little thing of a bob in here container. <laughs> I couldn't. Was not in here. And it should have been, so I'm just like finding palettes out of place and putting them where they go as we go. All right, next drawer. Oh, oh. Major clean outs about to happen. They just move the shades around. I'm gonna get rid of Game of Thrones. Yeah, please. That's what it looks like. What about guys who remembers this palette? Laura Lee X Violet Bob. This is from like four or five years ago. I launched this with them and it was a super successful palette. And I, it's just like so many memories in this palette. Do you remember this, Erin? I do. This is like the handiest palette ever, but I just haven't been using it. Should I get rid of it? Yes. You okay, I'm not gonna, gonna use it. it. You know me, you know me, you know me. You don't know me.
Okay guys, this is the Morphe drawer. I mixed an eyeshadow on that palette. That's what's going on there. Um, there are just so much in here and there's so many things Morphe doesn't even sell anymore on here. And I try to avoid using products and videos that you guys are completely unable to get. People get very frustrated, which is understanding. So I try to get rid of stuff that, you know, that's like that. But the drawers are looking amazing. And our pile is getting bigger and bigger. And yeah, I think it looks great. Oh, wow. <laughs> All right. Ooh, here is the Morphe drawer. We have the bigger palettes. All these palettes are available on their site. These, all the ones in like the custom packaging that they've done. Um, we have James and Manny's collab, Make It Forever. And then um, these are the ones they just came out with. They're like the smaller. This is my favorite of all of them. This is the 18T. And then these are some more smaller palettes they came out with. I think a holiday this year. My nails are so rough, it's hard to watch. <laughs> We're in quarantine, okay? No judgment! Please stop judging me! Pretty. This one's so pretty. This is so pretty. It's only at Ulta though. Oh. I wonder if they'll get it back in stock on their site. We have two more small drawers of drugstore palettes. <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay, so yeah, this is it. This is how I'm filming this, in case you're wondering, guys. There's so much in here, Erin, you're gonna scream. No. Yeah, you, you don't have to help. You don't have to help. You can take a nap. Look at, look at this. <laughs> no, this is not where you're taking a nap. Get up. Erin. <laughs> you're like a cat. You like cuddle up. Oh my gosh, guys. Okay, I'm gonna start on the lower drawer. That's like the sound effect CEO of <laughs> in this video. More delusional. These are two recent loves that I found um, through the video I did where I tried your favorite drugstore holy gems. And yeah, I fell in love with these palettes, so I'm definitely keeping them. It looks so sad because there's barely anything in it. <laughs> but I kept a bunch of BH palettes. I kept the collab palettes. Um, and I kept some of my favorite affordable palettes. This one's by J. Katz, um, Milani. This is a nice one. Just, yeah. Okay. Well, look at, look at the door now, Erin. It looks a lot better. <laughs> looks lame. I think I might combine the palette drawers after I clean this one out and then, you know, use the other one because look how packed out this is. And like, yes. you know what I mean? Like combine these and then look how crowded these are. We can spread some of this out. Like that's crazy. So we really just need, oh, this is all my uh, body stuff, if you guys are wondering. <laughs> all right, here we go. So this was two drawers combined into one because I got rid of so many eyeshadow palettes. It looks so much better. We have um, Elf, NYX, Pixie, BH. This is a Physician's Formula collab. These are random. Um, Makeup Revolution, Flower Beauty. All these are wet and wild right here. And then this is the J-Cats. 
with a few others underneath, like Milani's. Ta-da! I think it looks really amazing. All right, so now we're gonna clean the jewelers. All right, guys, now I'm cleaning. <laughs> um, this is a two-dayer project, so yeah. I am cleaning it out, because I'm gonna kinda clean this whole beauty room, because it's just like a disaster. In case you're wondering, this is my favorite cleaner. Um, this is the Windex Multi-Surface, and you can use it on wood, computers, technology stuff, obviously glass, mirrors. It's just so easy to use. Um, and tile, I have like a bunch of different textures in my home, so it's like nice to have this. I don't clean my marble counters with it in my kitchen though. Um, I have a method cleaner that's for granite and marble that I get at Target. glitter drawer we're going to jump into this is the last drawer we're going to do today this drawer is filled with different cream products anything that's a cream anything that that's a pigment um or a liquid or loose glitter or something for Coachella it's in this drawer so I need to clean it out I mean I can't use this in three lifetimes and this is just super unnecessary so I am going to get started this is gonna be really hard guys I just like don't like do I need three pots of glitter I don't think I do I'm just gonna keep the purple one that is so pretty it's like I'll probably never use it but it's so pretty These Urban Decay Heavy Metal like eyeliners, they're really amazing, so I'm gonna keep most of these. Okay guys, this is the drawer now. I think it looks so much better. I have just all of my glitter liners, the Kylie ones, Smith & Cole, Glossier, Glossier, um, Huda, Givenchy, and then these are all MAC paint pots. I obviously flip them upside down because the top of them is a black cap and that really doesn't serve any purpose because I'm like, I mean, it serves the purpose of being a lid, but I can't see the colors. Back here, I have all my loose glitters. I was able to add the ABH pigments in. I got rid of so many of these. I love the Stila eye toppers, but I just didn't need that many. By the way, here's what I got rid of. Yeah, all of this. This bag is pretty full. Over here, I have my House Labs Artist Couture. I love these. And then I have the Tarte Chrome Paints, again, upside down. And yeah, it looks a lot better. What do you think? Whoa, I'm used to this drawer being so packed. It looks so much better, doesn't it? It looks way better. It looks really good. Look at all that I got rid of. I'm proud. Of I'm proud of you. Thank you. I think it looks really good. Guys, so this is what we got rid of. Holy moly. I think over 200 pieces of makeup we pulled out. I have so much space in my drawers now, and I just love that. It's no hate to these palettes. It's just stuff I wasn't really reaching for, and some of it's getting kind of old. Now, I do pass on makeup that is used to friends and family members. I don't put it in giveaways. All that makeup is going to be new. 
And some things I actually had duplicates of as well. So this is it. I got my socks on. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video if you want to see a part two where I do the rest of my makeup, foundations, primers, just like everything else that wasn't eyeshadow palettes. I would say like eyeshadow palettes is like 50% of my makeup and then everything else is the other 50%. So this video is kind of like a part two or there would be like a part two to this video. This is like part one. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much. Um, I hope you guys are staying safe, healthy, and staying home out of respect for others and being a part of a community and respect for our healthcare workers. Um, I love you guys and and I will see you all in my next video. Bye! -bye.